previously on duty. You know, I told you my mum was looking to set up her own beauty salon. She's found something. I told her to go for it. And you'll be financing the whole thing? Yep. We've got your man. You've got one hour. I'll be waiting. One of us has to make the drop. Why me? Because you're the one that got us into this mess in the first place. Did you do it? Of course. <laughs> Sorry, what are you doing? Well, my kids live here, mate. What's your excuse? Hey, baby, is it? What the hell's going on? Part of the knee has broken away and is stuck behind the knee cap. I'm sorry, your career as a footballer is over. specialist made this diagnosis. Well, in my professional opinion, he's correct. He's a decent consultant. You're very lucky to have him. Well, he's wrong. It's got to be something. I'm sorry. If you want a different opinion, then you need to ask another consultant. I see you've spoken with Mr. Evans and Mr. Higgs. Yeah, but it's not a conjugal defect. I know that. So having this operation is not going to help me. Then I'm afraid I can't help you. But you've hardly looked at the notes. Both Mr. Evans and Mr. Higgs have made a sound diagnosis, which I totally agree with. However, it seems you don't. So, whatever I say, you're not really... Yeah? Um, Mr. Webb, um... Yeah, you got my message then, yeah? Well, yeah, exa exactly. Um, I just think you're being a bit hasty. Well, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Perfect. I'll, I'll see you about four. All right. Oh, Campbell. I see that spell still working. Look, mate, I'm not going to tell you again, yeah? It's a change of record. The fact that I'm class has nothing to do with luck. <laughs> yeah, Gaffer! What is it? No, just tweaked it. I'm fine. All right, get into shake as you see face. Sorry to disappoint you. Yeah? Nothing bad is it? saying that car really doesn't do you any justice, whereas that one's just aching for you to lean against it. Oh, really? And I don't suppose that would happen to be your car, would it? Oh, yeah. So it is. I, uh, I didn't recognise it. Let me save you the pain. I'm here to see Sean Campbell. No, 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 no. You see, um, I'm afraid I just can't let that happen. Excuse me? Well, you see, Sean Campbell is batting way out of his league here. Believe me, I should know. I have to share a house with him. It's not pretty. I look on it more as um, social work. <laughs> anyway, he's with the physio. He's injured? No, they're trying to locate a brain. They'll be ours. So why don't you come back with me in the car and wait for him there? No, thanks. I'm going to wait here. Oh, come on. At least let me make you see the error of your ways. After all, we've been through You it's... work hard, don't you? Well, I don't want you ruining your life. That's all. Okay. But only because I've never been in one of these before. I bet you said that to all the boys. Yeah. What's been said so far? Two years of recovery, if I have the up. Anyone mentioned a lateral release? It's not such a big operation as the one that's been proposed, and therefore the recovery time is much shorter. Well, how much shorter? If everything goes to plan, Three months. Why has no one told me this before? Hmm. 
People tend to think of it as a short-term fix. I don't agree with the right. And how quickly can we do it? I have to be in the States. It's from tomorrow. I have a clinic there. I'll be back in a couple of months. Look, I can't wait that long. If I was to come to America, could, could we do it sooner in your clinic? Well, yes. But it would significantly increase the fee. What? That doesn't matter. I pay anything. Will the club be covering this, or will this be a private matter? Private. In that case, I'll need the cash up front. Fine. But how much? Ten thousand. Excellent. I promise. We'll have you back out playing again in no time. Passport. Is, is the club still got it? Yeah, but why? What's going on? This guy Webb, he's going to fix my knee. It's not going to take too much like that quack from the club's head. It's going to be okay. I could be back playing within three months. Oh, babe, that's brilliant. But why do you need your passport? Well, I'm going to America tomorrow. What? Well, that's where the clinic is. I'm going there for the operation. Hang on, you were just going for a second opinion. Where did America come from? Well, I saw it on, it's on the internet. On the internet? What does the club know about this? Babe, the club got nothing to do with this. Like, they don't care what happens. So I'm, I'm just doing it on my own. But you can't, babe. I mean, what about your insurance? You do anything without the club's agreement and you could end up with nothing. Babe, look. I've got to come see the kids today rather than tomorrow, yeah? And I need to go and exercise my knee because I've got to keep it moving, right? But could you do me a favour? I've got still loads of stuff that needs ironing, right? And I know you push for time, but I could really do with your help. Look, it's on our bed, okay? Yeah? Hi, babe. Do me a favour. The more wine, the new trick is the oldest in the book. What do you mean? Oh, hi. I was just keeping her warm. Your lovely girlfriend and I were just getting to know each other. She's not my girlfriend. She's my mother. <laughs> what? M mother? What's the matter? Don't I look so attractive anymore? Mum! I, uh... I... Mrs. Campbell, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, you know, I think I... I have something to do up upstairs right now. Excuse me. So what, can't you even say hello to me anymore? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I'll give you the chance to pretend you're living like a monk. Do you think I'm stupid? Anyway, I've come about the salon. The girls had another offer, so we've got to move quickly. What? And I hadn't heard from you in a couple of weeks, and I wanted to see if you were all right. Yeah, everything's fine. So you need this money now? Well, I don't want to push you, love, but you said it would be okay. And £150,000 is a lot of money. Don't worry. I'm good for it. Hey, Sean, I swear, I, I didn't know, okay? What am I gonna do? Where am I gonna get that kind of money from? What money? I, I promised my mum 150k. Only problem is, I don't have it. Anymore. Hello, Tony. Yeah, look, I need to see you. Now! Get rid of it. Look, I've got a problem. Okay, ten minutes. I'll see you there. One finger, and I'll kill you. I swear I'll hunt you down like a dog and kill you. I, I, I don't know what you mean. Stay away from my mother, Lopez. No way, I'm not some charity. You'll have to tell her. Oh, you know what she's like? She'll kill me. Look, I'll pay you back. Maybe you're right. She's gonna wanna know why you knew and didn't do anything about it, though. Better get her to meet us here. What? She's in Harchester. She's coming here. Must be serious. Yeah. Okay. 
Seeing as your mum, I'll give you half. But that's it. But Tony, how's that gonna be? Which I will give her. Over lunch tomorrow. Always a pleasure to see your mother. I wonder where uh, Sean is. He's gone to sort out some business for me. He'll be gone for ages. You seem really tense. No, no, it's just a <clears throat> long day at training. You know, I'm a trained masseuse, Thai, Shiatsu, aromatherapy. What do you fancy? No, really, I'm just, uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm fine. Well, don't be shy. Ten minutes of me working my magic would relax you more than hours with those club physios. <sighs> you know, I won't take no for an answer. Today, thank you. I haven't come to fight. I've come to ask for your help. Please, Kim, this is serious. I'm sorry about what happened with Steve last week. Sent you around to apologise, has he? Danny really is spineless these days, not like when we were together. He's going to America. I know. Well, he shouldn't be going. Well, why not, if it means he gets the treatment he needs? What, from someone he found on the internet? Anything goes wrong, and he'll be in breach of contract with the club. So no insurance, no severance pay, nothing. Which means everybody loses out. But seeing as you don't care. Wait. You're really tense. Come on, relax. Oh. That's better. Oh. Right, turn over. No, really, uh, it's fine. Well, I've got to finish you off. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing properly. Yeah, um, um. Uh, Sean! I... Girl! Oh, for heaven's sake, I was just giving him a massage. Look, Tony's sorted most of the money, but it'll have to be tomorrow. So, I'm checking you to the Grange tonight. It's a great place. Egyptian cotton sheets and everything. That'd be ridiculous. You're not spending that kind of money. Anyway, Miguel says you've got five bedrooms here. You boys don't mind if I stay for a bit, do you? Of course not. Good. You all right? You look flustered. Yeah, I'm fine. Where are the kids? Oh, well, they're not back yet. You're early. Yeah, I've got a few things to sort out. I know. So, this operation that you're having... Yeah, well, it's the only thing that might get me back playing. Right. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? Keep the money rolling in for you and your boyfriend. Have you thought I might be concerned for you? <laughs> That'd be the day. I just wondered whether you thought it through. I know that you and me have had our differences, but if you need to wait, it doesn't matter about the money. And are you sure about this lateral release thing? Since when have you been an expert on knees? Oh, I see. This is what you and Kramer talk about, is it, when you're in bed? Well, that's some bellow talk, that is. The hinge joint in the importance of synovial fluids. No. Just stick to being a bitch, will you, Kim? Because that is what you're good at. Well, at least Steve doesn't have to crawl around doing my dirty work for me. Not like that slupper you ended up with. What? Creeping around to see Kim behind my back. Oh, Danny, it wasn't like All that. All I asked from you 
which showed me some support when I needed it. You have no clue what I'm going through, do you? I was trying to help! Babe, can't you see you're clutching at straws? Spending all that money! And that's what this is really about, isn't it? You and Kim. You just care you might end up with less money. Don't be stupid! Help! All you care about is how this affects you. <laughs> You've done nothing but whine at me since I got back from South End. Don't do this. What about me? What about my job? Stop it! Shut up! Stop it! Shut up! I wish I'd never come back. I wish you'd have finished when I went to South End. How can you say that? Because it's true! <laughs> away from you. I'll tell you what. I don't want you here when I get back. Because it's finished. Daddy! I mean it! Messages. Yeah, sorry, I've been busy. I called around a couple of times as well. I thought you might want to chat. And Jimmy told me about you. Yeah, I bet you all loved having a chat about how my career was over, eh? It wasn't like that, Danny. Well, it's not. I'm having surgery and, I, and I'm going to be back at South End in three months. Well, that's great. But I thought it was over. Well, it would have been if it was down to the club. Hey, Macca, you getting them drinks or what? Come and join us. No, you're all right, mate. Danny, I've not seen you for a week. I'm sorry about what happened. But you've also got some news. Have a drink with me. <sighs> all right. I can't be long. OK. How many of those have you had? I've had one. I'm not drunk. OK. Hiya. What's happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maka. You sure you don't want to drink, Solly? Hey, look, Maka, they all said the same, right? Two years, two oh, years, two years, right? And then this guy Webb, he, he came up with the answer, right? And, and I don't care how much it costs. <laughs> Someone's got to have a word of us. That's crazy. They laugh at me. Of course not. Would you relax? The thing is, Macca, you would do the same, mate. I know you would, right? If it, if it was your career. Hey, would you shut up? <laughs> you laughing at me, tire boy? No. Hey. Hey. I think you've had enough. Look, I'm not drunk. Which way are you going, mate? What? Say, so which way are you going, Jim? Daddy! Daddy! Come here! Come here! Get up, mate! Oi! Get up, mate! Look, I keep telling you! Look, I'm not drunk! Get Look, I need to go home! Look, you don't understand! Look, look, I've got, I've got a plane to catch! Look, call Tony Franks! Tony Franks. How oh, was he? No, keep him until he's sobered up. Yeah, sure. Well, thanks for letting me know. Some sunshine on a stick. Dios mío. 
Why is it every time I walk into a room, he looks as guilty as sin? Don't know. What's this? Healthy. Your fridge is a disgrace. I've started a proper breakfast. Thanks, but we usually eat at the club. Not today, you don't. There's no rush, is there? No, um, we have plenty of time. Uh, I'll uh, get in the shower. Good. And don't forget we've got this lunch with Tony at once, and make sure you're not late. It gives me a chance to sort this mess out. Mum, please leave it. Look, there's a cleaner. Is she blind? The dust on the stereo is enough to give you asthma. And put your robe back on, walking around half naked. Hey, hey, come here. Call me when you leave in the hotel. Go in, will ya? Why? Are you embarrassed? Oh, leave it. Bye, baby. Love you. Play good football. <laughs> come here. Oh, Mum! See you later. Go on. Bye, baby! This part I'm gonna slap. <laughs> Bye, baby! <laughs> no, she's coming. She's bringing her sister. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Mommy love you. <laughs> Baby love mommy. Is it? Is it like you? <laughs> you can't see you haven't had it coming then. <laughs> Where have you been? I told them to call you last night. I didn't hear the phone. I've got to go. I've got a plane to catch. Uh, just stop for one minute and think about what you're doing. I've spoken to Amy. This operation is nothing but a quick fix. You'll last six months, if that. And there's a chance of arthritis. What's it got to do with you? I'm your agent, Danny. Not anymore. I don't mind getting breakfast in bed with your mum. <laughs> Only if she was in bed with me, though. <laughs> They're ready now. Jimmy, Sky Sports are here. Hey, you're all right. Fine. He's only chopped his feet. Warn him up, Steve. He'll be five minutes. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> so, Jimmy, things are looking good. You know, getting to second place is incredible. People have had doubts, but, well, I've always had faith. You know, we've never had the money compared to teams like Man U or Chelsea. I mean, they can get a new signing every week, but us, we've got something special. We're all teams. Cut. Cut it. Cut it. Amy? Well, you obviously have the money to throw away because there goes another week's wages. You do realise that this is going to be on every channel by lunchtime and it's going to run and run all day. Sorry, Kev. Shut up! For the first time in 20 years, this club has something special to give. Does that not mean anything to you? 
I mean, seriously, boys, what is your problem? <laughs> How great you look. Your hair really suits you like that. Thanks. Did Sean say he was going to be late? No. Anyway, gives us a bit more time together. Oh, great. He's here. Where have you been? Sorry. Just something good training. Oh, don't worry. I was looking after her. Have you got it? The check? It's not everything yet, but it should be enough for deposit. I'll get you the rest. If you can't afford it, it's okay. I mean, there's obviously been a problem. I've told you there's no problem. I'll get you the rest. I'll take it. Excellent. Well, here's to your new business. Cheers. 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 Excuse me, I uh, just need to make a phone call. I don't think I should take this. Mum, we've been through this already. You're lying to me. I'm not. What's the reason you haven't got the rest of the money? I told you. I'm just a bit short at the moment. It's nothing. Something's going on, I know it is. Is it Miguel? Do you owe him money? Miguel? What's got to do with him? Get off me! Yeah, all of us go through hell while you have it all alone. Now, what are you talking about? You know full well. I'll take it. He knows me. You never took her at all, did you? Did ya? You stole Hey, please, Sean, I can explain. I'm gonna kill ya! Yeah, hello. Yeah, I'll be down in five minutes. Um, we're going to East Midlands Airport, but we've got to stop somewhere for five minutes first, okay? All right. I don't know what to say. What is going on with you? Nothing. Nothing. You listen to me. If you two want to hate each other, that's fine with me. But any of this gets on the pitch against Arsenal, and you're going to be having to fight me. And what is it? Sorry, surgeon. Stay here, Imperia. I, I don't know why I did it, sir. I was going to take it to him, but I just, uh, I just took it. I just thought that scum didn't deserve our money. And then you all insisted on coming a second time, so... And then he, uh, he died, and, uh... Do you have any idea what you passed through? I felt a lie to my mum. She's so disappointed in me. And what Gavin's gone through, losing the house. I'll give him back his money. You realize you killed him? What? If you hadn't stolen our money, 
None of us would ever have been there. And JF wouldn't have died. It's your fault he's dead. You killed him. They're my records. You can't keep them. They're property of the club, Danny. You know I can't hand them over. They're about me. Give them to me. Tell him to give me more records. I can't do that, Danny. Can't or won't. If we'd be pleased, finally get rid of me. Like you all wanted. You know that's not true. Just give them to me. I've got a plane to catch. The operation's a quick fix. Even you know that. Let's face it, mate. Career's over, Danny. Since when did you get to play God? Okay, enough. You're still contracted to this club. We decide on medical treatment. You will be treated in this country by a specialist provided by the club and a story. Take those records, Danny. I'll have no choice but to fire you for breach of contract. You'll get no payout on the remainder of your contract. No insurance, no nothing. The club will have nothing more to do with you. I just need to go home. Mr. Sullivan, you can't go home. Mr. Evans is on his way from the club. I don't understand. Look, I, I need to go to the airport. I'm having an operation. Unfortunately, the arthroscopy has caused an infection behind the knee, which is causing this fever. You'll need to stay here with that drip in overnight. After that, you'll be on a course of antibiotics for at least a month. Now, listen to me. You are not getting on a plane. You are not having an operation anytime soon. So just forget it. This all afternoon. Yeah. I'll say the word. We better get to the hotel. Yeah, I'll catch you up. All right, mate. I'll see you tomorrow, eh? <clears throat> I just thought you should know. Amy's staying at our place. She's devastated about what happened, but. Well, she thinks you don't want to see her. Do you want me to give her a message? Tell her it's okay for her to visit? The hospital rang. It seems I'm still your next of kin. The doctor says you'll be out tomorrow. Why don't you come and see the twins? I'll make sure we're on our own. They'd like that. Okay, um, see you later. Yeah. Get my way. Just hear me out. We've been stupid, um, betting on stupid things. One day uh, I'll win, one day Sean will. It's silly, it, it just, he got out of hand. I didn't bring you up to treat money like this. It's disgusting. No, it was my fault. I'm talking to my son. I went through hell to get you everything you needed for football. Boots, taking you to training every night. I gave up ten years of my life so you could be here. I'm sorry. It's about respect. I never thought I'd say this, Sean, but I'm ashamed of you. No, please, really, it was my fault. I, I led him on, really, I did. 
Look, there's about a hundred thousand there. Hmm. This is really Sean, so I'm just giving it back. Sean? Please, Mum. It's what you need for the salon. I know I've been a prat. I'm sorry. Please let me make up to you. Okay. You're not forgiven, either of you. I, I promise you, Mrs. Campbell, we will never bet again. Put you with Miguel. No. I thought I'd go with Gavin tonight. Put him in with Tire Boy. You don't mind, do you? No, fine with me. Good. So, you gonna tell me what's going on or what? About what? You and Miguel. Something's up. I thought we were the Invincibles. The three amigos. We are. This something to do with JF? Because if it is, I don't want to know. Tomorrow isn't going to be a walkover, and if I mess up, well, I just want to forget about it. Don't be silly. Nothing to do with him. It was about my mum. You know what my girl's like. Hey, relax. This isn't all of it. Not by a long way. There must have been hundreds of thousands. In cash. And some bull story about them playing silly betting games between them, which I don't believe for a second. You think they've got a bigger problem? I don't know. You're the manager. You tell me. I'm sorry. Look, it's not my place to tell you your job, but where's the pastoral care here? I mean, have they been behaving strangely recently? Has anything suspicious happened with them? Well, now you mention it, they, uh have been behaving a little bit out of character. And you didn't think to follow it up? Well, I can't be around them 24 hours a day. I'm sorry, Mr Craig, but I've worked too hard to let Sean throw this all away. Believe me, so have I. Look, I promise you we'll get to the bottom of this. Thanks. And I'll make sure the bag is in the safe during the game. I'd appreciate that. It's okay. I've not come here to fight. I'm sorry, Kim. I'm really busy. He's in a really bad way, you know. You've seen him? He was in the room when I was there. I couldn't tell you whether he saw me or not. What do you mean? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think he really needs you. <laughs> I know. Who'd have thought I'd be begging you to take him back after everything that's happened? He must be bad. He is. His career is over. And he needs to be around somebody who loves him. And if that can't be me... The instructions are on the packet. It's pretty straightforward. You'll need the crutches for a day or two, but no heavy exercise. Well, goodbye, Mr Sullivan, and good luck. I we might need a lift. I know this is the last place you want to be, but I have to do something, and then we'll go home if you want. Sally, trust me, okay? Sally's out of hospital. Yeah, I heard. How's he doing? How do you think? I'm sorry, Amy. But I did make the club's position clear. I know. Well, we'll have to make an announcement, so uh, I've drafted a release. Can I read it to you? 
Yeah. Harchester United's former captain, Danny Sullivan, is leaving the club after 10 years. Having captained the club to regain their place in the Premiership, he then had to suffer watching many of his closest friends die in the tragic accident that followed the match. However, only months after, he was captain of the side that won the FA Cup. A Dragons legend, Danny Sullivan's career has sadly been cut short due to a knee injury. This was doubly unfortunate as he had recently refound his form at South End, though Harchester will always remain his spiritual home. Manager Jimmy Craig was unavailable for comment. Okay, Amy. I get the point. He's in the players' lounge. <laughs> Dan, look, you might not believe this, but I'm glad to see you're okay. You were a good player, and you were a good servant to this club. Player and captain. One of the best. But you know how it is, mate. When you're injured, no one wants to know. I want to help you. Not money, but something that'll be good for you, something for the future. Do your coaching badges here. You'll have to wait for your knee to heal before you have the op, and uh, I'll help you in any way I can. You'd be a great coach. What do you say? excitement amongst the home fans and the anticipation levels cranked up a notch or two today with the arrival at the Dragon's Lair of Arsenal. Will they become the first side to defeat Harchester in the league this season? Come on, Harchester! The strength we have is the strength of our team spirit. Look at the player next to you and know you can back him today. Trust him and fight for him. Can you do that for me, lads? Whatever's gone on, whatever arguments you've had, it's got to be put to one side. Because if you can do that, gentlemen, you can beat any team in this country. If you can't, we're lost. Show them what my boys can do. Come on. Come on. Oh, my star is fading. And I see no chance of release. I know I'm dead on the surface. But I Soon on Dream Team. Oh, 
What's all this about? Fredericks might not have been alone on the night he died. Hi, stranger. Remember me? My marriage is over because Pull off. Oh, Never underestimate the power of the internet, especially at times like this. Couple of that Craig. Dear, oh dear. I couldn't have done better myself. And more brand new stuff to come next. The Russian, the bomb and Jack Bauer. Only he's got his own devastating news to deal with. Then, Hurley reckons Sawyer might have been involved in a mystery surrounding two other islanders. New Lost at 10. And Franco finds out about Jerry's second job at the pub. Rescue Me, new at 11. Sunday night on Sky One. Stay here.